Good evening. How's everyone? I hope you're well. Um, I wanted to update you guys because so much has been going on and unfortunately it's not always positive. So this is your chance to click off the message because I really don't want to have to play these little games that we've been playing before when I do report. Again, all messages are not positive. So unfortunately where I've moved to from the last place, I had a break in and one of the, the it turned out the break in the the offender was a juvenile who um, is the child of my neighbor and I held on to the information because I needed to find out who the person was because I didn't know who the child was and etc cetera, etc cetera. so what I had to do was of course do my own recon reconnaissance if you will and um, what did trip me out though was how angry everyone was I expected some but I didn't expect as much and so again I'm the victim of this break-in but uh, I'm planning what I'll do is do this video and then try and insert some using the other apps that allow me to connect with you guys but it was really a trip and then when the guy threatened me I asked him I was like are you sure you want to dance with the devil um, I know oftentimes when people see me <laughs> because I look like a lady and I am and I even he even threatened so the guy threatened me the father threatened me and the police officer. The police officer probably felt like it's nothing. You know, we get threats all the time, whatever. But I explained to him, I said, where I'm from, we don't do that kind of stuff. And I said, he's actually speaking my language because where I'm from, we don't play like that. So if you want to do the dance, like I said. So I told him, I was like, let's just be clear. You have an issue with the murder of Naomi that's coming up. And I was like, you remember that? And you guys probably, if she had come and complained, it needs to be on record. So if I do disappear or if something happens to me, highly unlikely, not arrogant. Like I said, I don't consider myself to be no super mutant, you know, with whatever powers or whatever. But it's highly unlikely, as you guys know. I'm not arrogant about it, but I'm also not the one out here starting shit. So let's be clear. Um, so essentially, the boy was apprehended yesterday. And a bunch of shit went down and... The lady that is the caretaker yelled at me quite a bit hmm, and essentially told me to get out and called me the troublemaker. And so I was like, OK, I have the boy on video coming into my house hmm, and I'm the troublemaker. So whatever, I'll update you guys on it. But I did want to let you know that I was OK. I did share it with a couple of people already who I'm in touch with. And sometimes they get worried about me. So I try to let them know I'm good everything straight but he broke in stole stuff and the crazy thing is instead of him keeping instead of them keeping him in jail they are telling me that the law in Ghana even though he's admitted to doing every hmm the law in Ghana says that after 48 hours they have to have to release him so I've been going around beating the bushes talking to a lot of people that I know here that I've met I don't like to use the term no, but that I've met and associate with. And some of them owe me favors. And I'm like, look, you need to give me some information. You need to help me keep this boy, bleh, boy you, you need to keep this boy locked up so his parents and them can come up off my money. Because I know they got it. They may not have all of it, but I know they've been spending some of it, whatever. Make him come up off my money. So after the disappointing news of them telling me they're going to release him tomorrow, I came home and I was like, and I asked them, I was like, am I allowed? Because they're submitting a, what they call the Republic of Ghana versus that person, that individual, which essentially is like, we would say the city of so-and-so against whatever. So I was like, am I allowed to file a civil suit? Because I want to make sure it's clear. I want, and I'm going to get my money back. So they told me yes. And I said, okay, I'll come home and I'll work on my writ of summons. And I've already got it going. So I, I probably submit it before the Friday, the weekend is up and I got everybody's names and we can do this, but please don't make any stupid comments. I'm okay. Don't start with, oh, how much are you supposed to take? I don't want to hear that shit today, please. This is about informing people. This is what's going on. We need, again, to talk about the relationships of the sisters that's coming over to Ghana and being taken while our men are essentially falling knee deep in pussy, excuse me for putting it that way, but that's essentially what's happening and there's no protection for us. 
And I have told people what's going on, and it's been quiet in church mice pisses on excuse me, church mice pissing on cotton. They ain't writing. I've talked to a few people that's gonna be coming in from other areas. But the point is, our sisters out here need protection, just like we do any other place. But hmm, if y'all hear about me in jail, y'all gonna know why, okay? Why don't you tell me? I'll give you the money and go. I don't want any trouble. Excuse me? Why don't you tell me? Why didn't I tell you what? Why didn't I tell you what? Why didn't I tell you? Why should I tell you? I needed to report it to the police.